everyone. Welcome to Vaccine Watch Wednesdays. I'm Susan, Johnson County Public Health, and today I have a friend. Uh, my coworker Kelly Smith is here. She's a public health nurse, and I'm going to launch some questions at her so you can kind of hear from a nursing perspective. Tell us a little bit about how effective these COVID vaccines are. Um, sure, Susan. So there are two available um, vaccines in the United States. One made by Pfizer, the other is made by Moderna. Um, they are about 94 to 95% effective. But what's really important is to get that amount of effectiveness, you have to take both doses. They are both two dose series. So you can't just take one and assume you're partially you know, protected. You really have to get both of them. Um, and then after you receive your second vaccine, it takes two full weeks for your body to produce the antibodies it needs to protect you against COVID-19. So even if you have the vaccine, it's really important that you continue to wear your face mask, social distance, and wash your hands like we've been telling you, because it's going to take a long time before enough people are vaccinated to, to give us that herd immunity that we're looking for more of us okay so yes. two don't go yes. for just one yes. you gotta get both two. of them all right great um what are some of the side effects you know people hear stories and, and we kind of want to know what what are the ones that people can expect so the most common side effects are kind of the same as with any vaccine your arm's probably going to be sore for a day or two you might have some body aches and a fever um, and just generally not feel good like you have the flu um, but honestly, the most common side effect is just the soreness in the arm. Um, if you feel that, though, um, either of the, any of the side effects, it really is just a sign that your, your body is working to make antibodies against the COVID vaccine. So it's doing its job. So if you feel those things, it's not bad. Um, you have probably heard some things on the news about there being allergic reactions. Um, and while that is true that that happened, it's still very rare. We have never in the United States vaccinated this many people at one time. So to see a handful of allergic reactions is not considered unusual. Okay. Um, and we're going to actually good. talk about that more in our next session of Vaccine Watch Wednesday. Ooh. So stay tuned for stay that. Stay tuned. 